today we are going to put this beautiful rice paper on this 12 by 16 wood paneling that I got from Hobby Lobby. Our rice paper is from Decoupage Central and it is, uh, I believe, DC5009. And you can also get these panels on Amazon, which I do most of the time. So we're going to start off by painting this in the Waverly chalk paint in um, Maisie all over and then we're going to take our water pen and you can use a paintbrush and water and do this if you don't have water pen it's fine um i get mine off amazon but i've also seen them in michael's as well we're going to trace all around our rice paper um pulling that that off you can if you like a straight edge you can just use scissors but i like the feathered look so this is just my preferred method um and then we're going to take some Mod Podge and lay that down wherever our rice paper is going. We want it to adhere to. And then once we get that covered, we're going to use our heat tool and make sure that is good and dry. So she's good and dry. And then we are going to take that rice paper and make sure, you know, that it fits on here well and that we don't need to do any adjusting to our sizing and whatnot. Um, so we're gonna make sure that that is a good fit onto our wood panel. And um, there's other ways that you can go about adhering. You can just lay down Mod Podge and let that dry and then lay Mod Podge on top of it and call it a day. And I do that sometimes, but I really like this method for projects like this we're going to take the teflon sheet you can also get these off amazon and your little um craft iron and we're going to iron this down and it's going to activate that mod podge underneath your rice paper i like this method for projects like this because it works really well um, to get wrinkling and the air bubbles and all of that out. So like I said, there are times that I use just Mod Podge, let it dry, and then Mod Podge the top of my project. But for things like this, I, I mean, look, like it, no wrinkles. It's beautiful. So, um, you know, you don't have to be extra <laughs> if you don't want to be. Um, but it just, it, it's flawless. So, that is why I chose this method um, with this particular project. Now, I like to grunge my things up, so we are going to use the Waverly Antique Wax. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it all over this photo. I put this all over the photo because I don't want it being bright and vibrant. I really like the grungy look. Um, so, if you don't, completely skip this part but I'm going to lay this down on my whole photo and then I'm going to go back with the baby wipe and just wipe it off now I did add a layer of um Americana crackle one step I normally crackle on my own so I'm experimenting with a bunch of the the crackles um I've got several brands and I did a thin layer you can really hardly tell I think I did it way too thin but You'll see in the end where there are spots that caught. So this wax like sits down in it and it just makes it look and grungier and just very um, like distorted. Um, so it did hit several spots, but not the whole, the whole thing that I was hoping for. Um, so yeah, I just continue to grunge it all up. I didn't want any nice, neat, clean, vibrant areas. So now I'm going to go in with the Deco R um, Metallic in Iced Espresso. And I just put it on my finger and go all around my frame. Um, and then I'm going to go back in with my Distressed Ink from Tim's, Tim Holtz. And uh, I think this one was Walnut. And I scrape it all along the sides. I'm a little out of frame, sorry. Um, just because I wanted all of these materials to give it depth and dimension and it just old grungy you know just all the things so I went all around but I, and I did go back and forth between 
the metallic and the Tim Holtz and all that and just really, really grunge this up. I think she is absolutely beautiful. I'm in love with her. I've had this sitting for quite a while. I ordered this panel specifically for this one because this is um, a bigger rice paper than like the normal like 8 by 10 and this is what I did, y'all. It's just, she's beautiful. I made a little bow. I put a button in the middle of the bow, followed by some sweet Annie behind it. And these beautiful florals um, on the side with the ribbon. And right here, I'm showing you where it's got some of those, like, nicks from that uh, crackle. I love it. It turned out great. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Make sure that you like it. You sh you spread all the love. And you be sure to follow y'all for more. This just came out gorgeous. I am in high heavens. I, I've been so excited to work with this one. And she's just been sitting there. So this is what we got. I hope you have a blessed day. Bye for now.